Yo, what is going on my friends today back with another video today I'm gonna be showing you this really crazy effect within after effects I'm not really sure what to call it um, What we're gonna be doing is animating some displacement map effects and the result of this is gonna give you this crazy like dreamy Inception like effect so if you guys are new here go ahead and click that subscribe button I've got regular content coming out with tutorials music videos a bunch of cool stuff coming join the community If you guys enjoy this content, please leave a like it helps support this channel so much considering this is my full-time job So it helps me a lot also go ahead and check out my website I've got thousands of free resources for you guys guys available to download ready for your projects if you guys are new here go ahead and give it a look so I'm gonna show you a bunch of crazy stuff you can do with animating these effects and it's actually a very simple thing to do so let's get right into after effects so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this footage that we have right here I'm gonna right click on it and I'm going to click replace with after effects composition okay so now that we've got our footage into after effects what we are going to do is we're actually going to click on our footage right here in the timeline we're gonna go up here to the effect tab we're gonna click on that now let's go down to distort and then let's go down and find displacement map right here above liquify go ahead and click on that and now what you can do is you can actually change any of these options to get different kind of looks um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give you guys like a cool little side tutorial tip right here if you guys actually set any of these horizontal or vertical to hue and then you change this setting you can actually get this kind of like data moshing like pixel distortion effect it's actually really cool um, and if you do kind of want that data moshing effect without having to go through the trouble of actually data moshing through that other software a vitamux it's actually saving you the process I I think it looks pretty similar um, if you guys do want to check out how to data mosh I have a full tutorial on that in my channel it's called the ultimate guide to data moshing link to that will be below so what we're gonna do let's just set both these values to zero make sure we're at our starting position right here let's go ahead and click on this value you can choose between any of these color channels right here I'm just gonna set it on red and then I'll keep the second one on green I'm gonna show you guys how you can properly animate this to get that look that I showed you in the beginning what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the maximum horizontal displacement as well as the maximum vertical displacement at our starting position right here so now that we have that keyframe we can go ahead and slide to the end of this clip and we can actually just go back up here to our max horizontal displacement and just bump up that value to something and just bump up that value to something a little bit like that now if you want you can get it all crazy like that but I think that looks a little bit too unrealistic so don't bump it up too much um, and we just want something that's gonna be moving a little bit and we're also going to bump up that max vertical displacement a tiny bit just like that now as you're gonna see right here you're gonna have these black edges on here this is just because it kind of is stretching the image um, if you'd like to get rid of that there's two ways you can do it you can either click on wrap pixels around right here I think that looks a little ugly because it's basically just duplicating the image and placing it behind it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck that I'm just gonna resize this to be a tiny bit bigger so that you don't see those corners because we made those keyframe animations as we slide along here the values are gonna change and it's gonna create this crazy trippy effect where it's kind of like liquefying it's like bending and warping edges and I think it's something that you guys can get really creative with I'm gonna show you guys some other variations of what you can do also um, the coolest thing about this tutorial is it's not really following my steps it's more of just me pointing you in the right direction and then you can just use your own creativity mess around with these values create something that you think looks good um, I'm gonna show you quickly on the second clip to do is I'm just gonna go back to that first composition that we did with all the effects for this teacup one I'm gonna actually click on the I'm gonna actually click on the displacement map effect in our effect controls click control C and then I'm gonna go back to our last link composition with our new footage and then I'm going to click control V and that's gonna just paste the effect so you don't have to do it again and you're gonna get the same look as you see here it gets a, it gets really crazy with this one I like how this one turns out I'm actually just going to resize this like I did for the other one and then for this one I want it to kind of get all distorted and then go back to normal so I'm gonna show you how to do that so let's go to the very end and then what we can do is since this is already keyframed you can just make these zero at the very end and what you're going to see happen is it goes through that distortion just like that and then it's kind of sinks back in and returns just to the normal footage that we like so that's another cool thing you can do anyways guys like i said if you're new here go ahead and click that subscription button if you would like more regular content like this please like the video like i said it helps the channel so much it helps me so much in terms of just being able to support myself doing this and bringing you guys new content daily other than that guys thank you for watching the video i appreciate your guys's time let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would like to see next from this channel we have a bunch more cool videos lined up and ready to go so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later